Good evening, lords and ladies. I'm Night Before Dawn, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Today, I would like to talk about overhangs. Primarily overhangs around corners, but also extended overhangs, and, well, these floating objects that you can see here. So, I will uh, just get started, but before I do, I just want to let you know there are um, crews outside doing uh, construction on... Uh, some things below the streets they're accessing uh, something I'm not sure what but so if you hear drilling and concrete saws and whatnot that's probably what it is but anyways I'll just get started on the build here and I'm just going to build myself a simple frame here nothing special um, you can have an entire wall if you want to and it won't matter at all but um, I like to, uh, when I do this, have the arrows come off of my central posts. It seems to make things more consistent. Um, it's not always consistent, no matter how you do it, but off of the, um, like not the center center post, but the, the posts in the middle and not on the corners. So things are more consistent that way whoa and when I am doing this I like to do it one piece at a time and I like and I remove my corners kind of last they are the last thing I remove on um, each individual side except for the last side so I'll do off of my wall and there we go then I'll do this is off of one that's under an overhang. I will be removing that later, but I removed the corner. See, the corner was done after the one in the middle. And the same thing here. And then I'll come over here, I'll remove this, and take out that one. I'll do the same thing over here. Whoa, that was wrong. Hopefully that didn't screw things up. The order is important. Remove that and that. And then I'm going to come over to this one, place this, remove that one, place this, and remove that one. As you can see, I've got most of the corners cleared up. This one's a bit of a challenge, but I'm going to remove those, place this one in here, and often I can just remove it because of the order I placed the logs in when I was putting them up, combined with... Um, doing everything one log at a time. Put in a strut, remove the log. Put in a strut, remove the log. Um, I find if you put in, say, a, or three or four struts and then remove the logs to those ones, it interferes and you often can't remove other logs. And I don't understand why, but it just, that's the case. But as you can see, I've got overhanging strut, or overhangs that go all the way around a central point and nothing else going on and if you'll notice some of them don't have these that's because these struts are not needed don't ask me why I think it's because once you've got the um, overhang on the corners um, it doesn't or it assumes that this is supported and just ignores everything else. Now you see this I can't remove but if you want to remove it you can um, and it's surprisingly easy just remove these logs yep there you go and I'm gonna place them back in because it adds a special feature I can just remove that and now I've got a full grid that is floating um, to get this kind of thing going on, I will show you on this one. Um, just remove the struts. And then pull out your axe and pick your height that you want the slope to be at. I'll do a half log this time. Come on. And there we go. That's how it works. And that was strange. As you can see, this one had a double overhang going on. I'm going to remove that and just kind of replace it just because I think that's cool. And to do this, 
it is a or quite a different process. Um, I will show you actually on this one here. So what I did for that is I came out here, built that, placed this and this, and then I just built myself another frame out here, doing almost exactly the same thing. I don't want to interfere with this, so I'm going to temporarily remove that log and just place these. Um, I could come out farther even because like I showed. Okay. That's hilarious. That lines up perfectly with there. Okay, so I can't come out farther in this case. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll, I'll just do, do this. There we go. They're pretty easy to knock down. Clean some of that up. There we go. So now I should be able to just come out here. And like I showed before, try and do these off of here. So that all of your arrows are coming off of these midway posts and then repeat the process so where's my half log it's a full log that's three quarter there's half logs and so I'll do it the close side first do that remove the log do that remove the log do that remove the log. Then remove that, do that, remove the log. Remove that, place that, remove the log. Do this one, remove the log, remove the strut, place the strut, and remove the log. Remove the strut, place the strut, remove the log. Okay, and now that you have this, um, and I've already done the thing with that, I can actually remove that as well. Um, I'm going to do the same thing as I did there, and I'm going to just remove uh, all that. And then I can't remove this one, see, it's just not letting me. So I'm going to do that, and then point it in. Ah, oh, come on, let's just pick up all this extra stuff here so that it's not tripping over it as bad. Okay, so anyways, let's restart that because I don't know where I was, so I'll just do all four anyways just to be safe. Oh, there it is. go and I can remove that and then I can just place these across here so if you want an overhang or a larger floating base it's really simple you just keep repeating this and there you have it so if you found this video useful and you would like to see more I would greatly appreciate a like comment and subscribe thank you very much